when I that week that I had my the Monday that I had my fall was the week of Cheltenham and Nozick that season had been running incredible. He was entered in the Grand Annual at Cheltenham and there was all that there was that chance there was that dream and that dream was that was my dream that was our dream but obviously my dreams were shattered that Monday when I was lying on the floor. I'm Jamal Gracie Davison, I'm 30 years old. I used to be a professional jump jockey and had to retire through injury. So I started, well I first got my licence out when I was 16. I wanted to um, be a jockey, that's all I ever wanted to do. I mean I could probably ride before I could um, walk. Jump racing, you, you do have more time to think about things. You still, you still have to be really on the ball, you can't fall asleep because that's when accidents happen. You can have a plan, you can have a plan A, you can have a plan B, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be the case when you're out on the track. March the 11th was um, quite a funny day for me really. I went to the races and I thought, out of my six rides, I thought four of them had a really good chance. Came out for my first and the ground just, he just didn't like the ground. And then my second ride, um, the snow had started falling down on the track and uh, still to this day, I don't really know what she did, but she fell. And uh, I got up and I knew I was in a lot of pain. Walking back to the track, the doctor came over to me and was, kept checking me to see if I was okay. And um, I thought I was fine. I think Lindsay's dream, she was probably not my least favourite of the day. I thought she'd have an each way chance, but it was quite a competitive handicap, mayor's handicap hurdle. And um, we went and won and it was amazing. And I almost actually forgot about my shoulder and, uh, and I, that I was in pain. The buzz of the adrenaline and every, all the owners were really happy and you just automatically forget about your pain. Came out for my fifth ride and the snow has really started falling heavily at that point uh, to the point where I don't know whether they probably should have abandoned the meeting. We set off and he, my horse was pulling really hard and he was just really, really keen. And we were coming to the second hurdle and he just came up to jump the hurdle and all I remember is thinking, oh well, oh no. I knew it wasn't going to end well and all I remember was the pain, the initial pain, <clears throat> and I sat up and my leg was pointing at a left angle and the doctors were there immediately. Um, it was freezing, freezing cold. My body then went into shock. I was frozen. With, with my racing silks, it's very, it's very slippery material. It was, I just kept slipping down the bed and I was having to push myself up and my shoulder was absolutely killing me and I said this is my shoulder's not right they then booked me in for an x-ray for my shoulder as well uh, this was after I just disco they discovered that I'd fractured my femur but because my shoulder was strapped up it didn't actually show my dislocation and I had a pin I had a pin all the way through my femur and three screws in my knee and three screws in my hip I was supposed to be putting um, weight back on my leg after eight weeks um, bit of being on crutches, but my knee kept giving away. It turned out that I'd actually ruptured my ACL. When I had found out about my ACL, I thought I was, I was devastated, if I'm honest. Um, I thought that could potentially be the end of my racing career. That really hit me hard. Um, because it was almost couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. It crushed me. Finding out I was pregnant with Ellie was um, a shock. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's, to be honest with you, I never thought I'd have kids. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she was, she showed me that there was a whole new life. The love was unreal. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't match it. I mean, it's, it's a great sport to be in, it's a great sport to be involved in. Um, I mean, I've been born and bred on a horse. It's just always been part of my life and I don't think it, would, it wouldn't ever not be part of my life. <laughs>